From KETK, you're watching East Texas Live. Welcome back. We continue our East Texas Giving Day coverage with an organization from Wood County. Joining us now is Cliff with Ann Bucks. How are you doing today? Thank Good, you so much great, for being baby. here. My pleasure. Yes, sir. So can you tell me a little bit about your organization? Yeah, we're a 501c3 charitable service organization. We've been around uh, over 100 years now, and we just started a chapter in the Holly Lake Hawkins area in Wood County. Yes, sir. So, you know, you're a new chapter here in East Texas. You just gave away a few Amtrak bike trikes earlier this month, correct? So how does it yeah. feel to be able to give back? Like that? It is, it's very incredible. Uh, the tri We gave away two trikes last week that you guys came out and covered for us. And uh, one of them was for a six-year-old child, and one was for a 71-year-old man. So uh, we have trikes to fit anybody and everybody that has uh, special needs. And uh, this little six-year-old boy was outstanding. And the, the gentleman we gave the track to is a guy that I've known for years that uh, had uh, late onset uh, polio or post-polio syndrome. And two years ago started losing his uh, ability to walk. So he has a hand cycle that he can pedal with his hands. Yes, sir. And just seeing their face when they get that, you know, track, what does it mean to you to see well, that? Well, as I, as I told Nolan when he came out, I, uh, when you give one of these tracks away and you see the expression in the children's case and their parents, because they're as effective as affected as the children, uh, all you want to do is go raise some money and give another one away. Yes, sir. And give them, and give them, keep giving them as long as you can. Yes, sir. And y'all are part of East Texas Giving Day. What yes. are the money that you're raising? Where is that going to go towards? That's going to go through. Uh, a great deal of it will go to the tracks. They have increased in price over the last few years since COVID, and uh, the average cost on them is probably a thousand dollars now. And, uh, but we also do community service with that money. We've uh, helped with the Tim Tebow Foundation's. Uh, uh, Night to Shine Prom for people with disabilities this year was able to buy a ramp for their local church that uh, hosted it. And we also donate to our National Scholarship Program, which we're the largest private donors of scholarships for therapists in the U.S. Yes, sir. And uh, do y'all need some volunteers out there? We need members all the time. We're a fast-growing club for our small organization. We've, we're like 30 members, a little over 30 members now. And uh, all these people participate in all the events that we do. We're, we're now the permanent uh, uh, people to place wreaths on the city, city cemetery in Gilmer uh, for Wreaths Across America Day. We did that this year. It was our first event after we opened our new club. And uh, they want, asked us if we would continue to do that each year. So we're going to do that too. So anything we could do involved in community service or uh, helping people with disabilities increase their mobility, we're going to get ourselves involved in. All right, sir. Thank you so much for Thank coming you, in and David. telling us all about your organization. Continue doing that great work out there in the we're community. We're going to try. Thank you. Yes, sir. For more information on this nonprofit, you can go to the website right here on your screen.